barrel is bringing heavy rain and flash flooding through the Midwest. Now one day after making landfall in Texas as a category one hurricane, it has spawned at least 15 tornadoes as it moved across Texas, Louisiana and Arkansas. As you see the path there, the storm is being blamed for at least eight deaths in the US. It's caused millions of people to lose power at its peak as Texans are working now to clean up after the storm. They're also dealing with intense heat temperatures there in the 90s today. The heat index reaching 105 and heat has been uh, the other big weather story that has certainly stretched all the way to our area. Meteorologist Kat Campbell joining us now with a look at both barrel and the forecast. And thank goodness we have the air conditioning and the power on to deal with this heat for many of us. Texas still two, two million people without power right now. Some of the surrounding Gulf Coast states like Louisiana, where we had quite a few of those tornadoes touch down, also have a significant number of power outages. What's left of barrel, it's just remnants at this point, but it is still producing severe weather up in Tennessee and parts of Kentucky. There are some tornado warnings in effect, and it's going to continue to move up to the north and east and into the Midwest.